Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my most requested video, I think, ever, which is how I style my hair. Genuinely didn't think it would be such a hot topic because I think the way I do my hair is pretty much the same as everyone else, but apparently you guys really wanted to see it. So I thought day one of Vlogmas could be a hair routine just to show you exactly how I style my hair on an everyday basis and show you the products I use, the styler I use, and just how I get the kind of flicky, curtain bangs or the ABBA bangs as I like to call them. This is like my ABBA fringe and I'm, I'm here for it. So I'm going to jump straight into the video and share with you what I use. But I did want to mention first and foremost that I don't use a daily heat protectant. I actually use this one from Redken, which you actually put on when you wash your hair. So wash your hair, towel dry, leave it damp. And then when you put in your leave-in conditioners and things, but it basically helps to put this into your hair. So you don't need to spray on heat protectant every day. And it's just a really, really great product. I'm on my third or fourth bottle of this and I really love it. So definitely recommend having a little look into it but without further ado I'm gonna jump into the video and show you how I do my hair as you can see my hair has been thrown up into a little bun for the gym this morning it's not been brushed yet it's a bit of a mess and I'm gonna talk you through exactly what I do in the morning first things first I tend to give it a good brush and if it needs a little bit of dry shampoo I put the smallest amount here and like down the middle of my hair so I try and use as little as possible and I tend to wash my hair maybe once a week. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a brush first and foremost. I do brush my hair with a tangle teaser. I've done it for so long, I can't even remember what it's like to use a normal brush anymore. Like it's just something I've used for years and I personally just really like how the tangle teaser makes my hair feel. I like that it doesn't rip my hair at all and it's just nice and gentle. And then once it's brushed, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of dry shampoo. So as I said, I tend to go kind of around the front and then in the parting and then I just give it a little bit of a massage. I try not to use too much because I don't like how heavy it feels when you get to hair wash day and you've used loads of dry shampoo. Now that the dry shampoo's in, I'm gonna go ahead and give my hair some style. I did straighten it yesterday because I have got really into the habit of wearing it like pinned back here and then just straight. I think it looks really chic sometimes and if I can't be bothered to do my hair or I don't have the time to curl it, it's just a really easy way to do it and it looks really cute. So if you want a kind of mini tutorial of that, let me know. The curler that I use on a pretty much everyday basis is the GHD Curve. So it's this little styler here. Very minimal, very sleek, and very, very easy to use. There is literally one button, and the one button is on and off. There's no fuss, there's no heat settings or anything. And it has got the clamp feature, so you can clamp your hair and then roll it up. I don't personally use the clamp, I do my hair a little bit differently, but if you wanted the kind of ease of doing that, then it's there. But I really like it, it's a really great tool. I was gifted this maybe about a year ago and I haven't looked back. It's just such a good curler. My curls hold really well and it's the perfect thickness barrel for the tighter curls, but also when they drop out, they look really nice and loose. Any pictures that you've seen of me with curled hair over the last probably 18 months, will have been with this, so highly recommend. And one thing I really like is that when the curls drop out using this one, they drop out into like really nice loose waves. They don't go all like weird. I don't know how to explain it other than that. <laughs> so to curl my hair, I normally just part it straight down the middle, very roughly, so it's probably not straight, but part it down the middle and then I just tie up the one side of my hair just to keep it out of the way a little bit because then it's all in one place. It's not down my back, it's not in my eyes or anything. It's just nicely to one side. And then I start from the back at the bottom and work my way forward and hold the curler on my hair for roughly 10 seconds per chunk. So I don't grab the same size chunks every time. I tend to just kind of grab and see like whatever works. So sometimes they're a bit bigger, sometimes they're a bit smaller, but I do it more so so the texture's a bit different because I think when the curls are a bit less uniformed, it looks really nice and just gives that more kind of effortless vibe to your hair. So what I'm gonna do is grab my hair and my curler and then I angle it down, put the curler about a third of the way from my head and just wrap my hair around. As you can see, I've got another bit of hair that's kind of caught around, but it's fine because it doesn't really make any difference. It doesn't need to be the neatest of things. And if you're trying to do the loose effortless waves, they tend to be a little bit more messy anyway. So I'm gonna hold that on there for about 10 seconds and then drop it out and just hold it. So I tend to drop it, then give it a little bit of a push up and hold and let it go and just flick it down my back so it's out of the way. I'll try and show you what I mean more so as I get to the front because it's really hard to see when I'm doing it here. So let me give it a bit of speed and then I'll catch back up when we get to the front of my hair. Right, 
so now I've got a little bit closer to the front I'm going to show you what I do so as I get to the top front bit I tend to curl from a little bit higher up so I go from maybe here instead of about here just because I like them to be a bit more face framing and I find that these ones are the ones that tend to drop quicker anyway so what I do is just grab it wrap the hair around so hold this wrap the hair like over the front so basically pulling it away from your face because if you're face framing you want the hair to go away from your face not towards and then just hold it on like I said for 10 seconds I don't do completely to the end I leave a little bit of a tail hanging off just because I don't like it to be too ringleted at the bottom but if you do get them too close to the end and you want them to be a bit less you can obviously just straighten over the ends a tiny bit if you do the straighteners really quick over the bottom they don't tend to give too much of a straight look they just kind of flatten that bit out a little bit um, which is good so to do the hold I literally just push the curl upward and then hold it like so for a couple of seconds just till it cools down a little bit obviously be warned because it's a little bit warm but it just helps to let the curl have some shape and stops them dropping as quickly. And then grabbing the next section of hair. There's no real system, I just kind of grab and go. And like I said, going a little bit closer to the head. Obviously just be where you don't burn your ears or your head. <laughs> just hold it for about 10 seconds and then loosely drop it and then push the little curls up. It does get a bit hot, so just be a bit careful of your fingers. And then now we've reached the last section. So what I tend to do is grab this last section. And then what I try and do is grab the shorter bits of the fringe as a separate piece. And then I try and get kind of this little bit here so it goes down a little bit. Does that make sense? So I get the top fringe bit. And then I've also got like this little piece here just below it. So this one gets done quite close to the head again and away. And then for the front piece, I flip the curler into my other hand and just try and kind of separate it a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's not perfectly separated. Go in at the same kind of angle, but from above. And then you want to just grab the fringe and wrap it over the curler. And then if you can see, I hold it at a slight angle. So it gives that little tiny bit of a shelf vibe. Perfect for curtain bangs. It just gives you that little angle. I hope this makes sense, but I'll try and show you on the other side as well so you can see what I mean, but it just gives that little bit of a shape rather than just being a straight down curl. So you can kind of see what I mean. It gives that little like, my fringe is at a really awkward length at the moment, so I tend to have to go over the front bit a couple of times just to get it perfect. But that should be good. Yeah, there we go. So then what I'm going to do is leave that side to do its thing. I'm not going to brush it out just yet. And then we're going to start on this side give it a little brush through because it's been in the band and then we're going to go in at the back again so literally the back bottom section here so right at the nape of your neck and then go in from the back i mean obviously the way that you do this is so up to you some people prefer putting it in the other hand and doing it that way i just prefer kind of going round and going like so and then again pulling it away from your face so it kind of goes in the opposite direction to before but it just helps to frame your face really nicely and not give you any awkward curls that go forward. You might notice I don't hold every single curl. There's no real rhyme or reason to it other than sometimes I forget and sometimes I'm just lazy. I just really like the effortless way that hair looks when you've kind of curled it and it's dropped a little bit and there's bits that are a bit higher up or lower down and it just looks a lot more natural than ringlets because I think that's the vibe we all really want when we curl our hair is just that nice effortless, I don't really care about the way it looks but it looks good kind of vibe. And then, like I said before, you get the piece behind the fringe, give that a little go over, and then I've still, mm, I think I've still kind of got two sections at the front. I thought I'd grabbed a little bit more then. And then going in with the fringe, finally, just gonna do the same as the other side. So grab the fringe piece, angle the curler, and then just wrap it around. Okay, then that's my hair fully done. So what I'm gonna do now is wait a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna go over with a little bit of hairspray and I'm gonna use my fingers to tease it all out. So just give it a little bit of a brush through so it doesn't sit like this for the whole day because this is a bit too much for me. It's a bit too ringlety. 
it's not brushed out i don't i don't know i don't personally like it so i'm gonna give it a couple of seconds hairspray oil and brush it out right now it's been a little while what i'm gonna do is just flick it all backwards and go in with some hairspray. I've been really liking this one, which is the Control 28 from Red Ken. It's just a really good hairspray. It's a really nice big can, and I just find it gives the hold I want it to have, and it doesn't have that really horrible hairspray smell. As you can see, I'm such a pro. And then what I'm gonna do is just cover my eyes and go over the fringe a little bit, just so I can give it that little bit of hold here, because I like to keep that shape throughout the day. And then we're going to pull it all forward, give it a little run through with fingers. If you've got a wide tooth comb, definitely use that. I've completely lost mine. I have no idea what I've done with it, which is why I'm using my fingers. But as you can see, even using fingers, you get the like really soft wave as opposed to like the really hard curls, which as much as we love the curls, we want them to be a bit more natural. So give them a little brush through. And then the final thing I'm gonna do is go in with some oil. So I've been using the Kazoo hair oil, which is so, so nice. It's honey infused and smells delicious. You only need the tiniest, tiniest little bit. So not even, like it's literally one drop. So not even a pea size amount. Rub that in my hands and then just run it through the ends. And it's just the nicest hair oil because it helps to give hair that really gorgeous smell. Like, oh, it just smells heavenly. But it's also really nice for just freshening up the ends and making them feel a little bit less dry, especially if you're kind of later in the hair wash cycle. It just gives that really soft, soft finish to your ends. And what I tend to do is just go through and any curls that I'm not happy with how much they've dropped, which is always this side, I just give them a little bit of a twirl with the oil just to help them have that little bit of texture and shape and just, yeah. <laughs> I just really like it and then try and concentrate it onto the ends as well and just give them a little go but yeah that's basically how I do my hair every day nice and easy no fuss it takes me all of about 10 minutes to do which is super quick and it just gives a really nice little soft curl that drops throughout the day the one thing I will say is bear in mind that everyone's hair texture is different so what holds really well for me may not necessarily hold really well for you or mine might drop out a bit quicker than yours etc so just bear in mind that the timings and stuff will need to be different for your hair but I really hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to stay tuned because i'm gonna have a full hair routine coming soon with all my tips for growth and condition and the full range of products that i use so ranging from my shampoo conditioner to my masks to my products etc gonna share the whole shebang with you in a few weeks time so keep your eyes peeled for that hope you enjoyed seeing how i styled my hair don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it subscribe hit the notification bell for more from me and i'll see you in my next video happy vlogmas guys